Well, people, this I think is very weird, right? So back in the 90s, 92 exact, a girl group called Eternal were formed. Now, they had some level of success. I thought they were um, not very good, but, you know, everyone's got different tastes. So you had four people in the group. There were Esther and Vernie Bennett, um, Kelly Bryant, and Louise Nerding, a.k.a. Louise Redknapp now. So they made up the group. They eventually, you know, all started to go their separate ways. The group fully disbanded in 2000. I think they got back together for some reunion rubbish, but that was it. Now, recently, supposedly, they were getting back together. Getting back to, I mean, when you look at things, so many people from back in the day suddenly are getting back together for tours. A lot of them, you're just like, who really wants to see them? But <laughs> anyway, right? So the these group of friends, right? But supposedly they are all friends, going to get back together. Until, right? Until just the other day, because Louise Redknapp put out a statement. Um which was very odd. It's a, a, it's a very odd thing, right? There's supposedly, she said, um, there's Vernie and Esther, right, have made terrible comments about the LGBT community. And she's a huge supporter of the LGBT community. So she does not want to get back together with them. And, um, you know, Kelly Bryant also put out a statement in support of the community and all of this. Right. Um, I know her Kelly's was my stance and allegiances have always been that I'm an advocate for inclusion and equality for all. I mean, that's what she said, right? And it's it's an odd situation because firstly, right, as I said, these are all meant to be friends. So surely you have conversations before, you know, any announcements get made, right? It's like, oh, should we get back together? What are we going to do? Well, I think we could play these events. We could do this. But I don't really, you know, you'd have that conversation, right? Or in any statement you put out, you, you're not throwing a friend under the bus, right? There's, you know, they put, you've been around them for years, Right, so you know who that person is. So the, the this whole thing is real weird because here's the thing: Vernie and Esther, it seems, didn't actually say anything about the gay community. Right? So supposedly, what they didn't want to play pride shows. Which, I'm just like, listen, I am sure there are venues and, and festivals and things people do not like doing. You know what I mean? I am sure. <laughs> so, I feel you should be able to specify. Actually, I don't. And saying I don't want to play a pride show doesn't necessarily mean you're against, you know, the gay... LGBTQ, all of that community, right? You might just think it's so rowdy, right? Now, I've, you know, like, here's the thing, going to festivals, there's certain festivals where you will see a higher degree of nudity, right? And 
I know from, you know, going like being in the vicinity of some, at some of the LGBT events, people will be taking the tops off, you know, walking around with nothing on, whatever, do you. But if that's not your thing, I feel it could be fair to say, actually, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? But that doesn't, that's not saying you hate that community. But we don't know because no one's actually talked to these girls. And as I said, Louise and Kelly know them, but haven't like, you know? But the big thing is, as I said, it, it, it's not that they hate the community, right? Supposedly what they said was that they felt that the gay community was being hijacked by the trans community, and they do not support this, right? And it's a complicated thing. Because, you know, firstly, it is weird that everything is bracketed together, you know, LGBTQ+, plus IA, all of these different things, right? They're not all the same, you know what I mean? They're not all the same. You know, everyone's got different wants and needs, right? Everyone's got different, you know, rights that they want to put forward. So by bracketing everyone together, it's an odd thing, right? Because you say, when you even look at it, gay men and gay women don't always get along. You know what I mean? And the trans community is different to the gay community. And you can definitely say there are some elements that, you know, are kind of our rights are more than your rights. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's a hateful statement, you know? I think it's very subjective, right? And it's not a sweeping, right? You wouldn't say every trans person is trying to hijack. No. Are there some elements that are? Possibly, yes. Right? But yeah, it's not across the board. But I don't necessarily think it's a thing where it's just like, these two people should now be cancelled, right? Have a conversation, right? Have a conversation, you know? And that's the weird thing about all of this, right? We, we, we don't seem to talk anymore, even with people who we supposedly know, right? They're meant to be your friends. You supposedly have been around them for years have a conversation, you know, and look, you might go, they might have had a conversation, then word your statements differently. Now, I get Kelly's point uh, slightly more, but she's a host on Loose Women, right? So she might have contacted the girls and gone, listen, if I don't say anything, I will lose my job. I need this job right now because it's the only income coming in. So I need to put something out. And they'd be like, yo. And the girls might have been like, do you? We get it. Now, that's fair and fair. But I just think <sighs> there are times when you don't actually have to put out statements and all of this palaver. Because I didn't even know the Eternal were trying to get back together. I don't think a whole heap of people knew or cared. So you don't, like, the only reason to put out statements is to try and shine a spotlight on you. You know what I mean? Do, the only way to word them in certain ways is, again, it's all about that spotlight, right? And I just think there are better ways to word things, right? There are better ways to do things, but in this weird cancel culture, click heavy society that we find ourselves in, instead of having proper dialogues, we resort to these, you know, gimmicks to get us accolades on social media from people 
who we do not even know or technically give a fuck about. But, you know, going viral, getting a million clicks on something, that's now leverage. And that's what everyone's gunning for. Like, it's a fucking shame. It is. Really weird. But, yeah, it seems eternal is not forever. And you know what? For that, I am thankful.